we are a differentiated assistance district or a differentiated assistance school. What this means is that we have students in some subpopulations that are really struggling to make academic progress. And uh, one thing that I felt as an educator is that I, if I'm continually redesigning everything or doing three different lesson plans in one day, that's a challenge. And uh, I want all of our educators to see that if we find ways to where we can make differentiation real for our students, if they can find pathways to where they can connect that will lead them to academic success, then they are more likely to have a positive association with school, with their academics, and be academically successful. And we can't do this overnight, but we might be able to do it on a week basis to start to where we can look at all the lessons that we teach and say, what, how do I account for that student that is not uh, connected? How do I find a way to where I'm gonna hook that student's interest and get them to grow? How am I gonna find a way to where they can not necessarily show a product that uh, maybe it's an essay, but we'll do it in a non-traditional way to where they can share ways how they are gonna demonstrate their proficiency because people learn differently and people present differently. And there's genius in all of our students. It's a matter of how do we go ahead and allow them to show us their genius. I feel like by having two different pieces to connect within each other, it allows you to make many connections within like the piece and understanding like what it really means, especially when learning like about poetry. I feel like it's hard to really understand. But when you have other like articles like um, music to connect it to, I feel like it can make it easier. And it adds like dimension to what you're learning so you can really understand it more. And I think with different pieces of media and literature to connect to, it helps you stay involved with it and to make more connections. It, differentiation is basically just teaching to all students in ways that are successful for all students. So not necessarily standing at the front of the board and lecturing for 45 minutes and then saying, go do work. It's can we do small group instruction? Can we have students teach each other using shared language? Um, so differentiation week is our week of really promoting that in some way in our classrooms and trying to find success and then sharing back together what worked and didn't. Um, well, so one of the things that we've been really working hard here at Freedom is just working on our PLCs, but giving um, students a variety of opportunities to show their learning. Um, so it's not just about taking a test, an exam, um, but giving them different opportunities like posters, visuals to show their creativity. Um, and so that's what we look at differentiation. Um, and so for this project, for example, students are comparing enlightenment leaders with present day. So we're also trying to bring that connection of today's society and who we are and how our history from the past relates to the present. I think the extra layer is bringing more awareness to the students about the process and that the connections they're making, the choices and the decisions they're making regarding their learning and the active engagement in the learning process is a portion of the learning itself. It's not just the content that we're building, but it's the life skill that we're placing emphasis upon. Um, it's not too badly. It's kind of affected my grades necessarily and like being in leadership too. It is making my grades go down a little bit lower, but it's okay. It didn't need one of them to go down. Is it harder? Is it, is it a little more difficult? Or? Yeah, the work is a little bit harder. What makes it? What makes it? What makes it harder? Just like the teachers and like the materials and stuff. I'm not really understanding it as well, but it's okay. Is that something where like just you can make that adjustment? Yeah. Yeah. Just differentiation is is one of the key uh, components of instruction. Um, being able to tap into try to tap into all your students uh, at different uh, proficiency levels is really the key to teaching um and and that's why this sport's so great because many of them have never tried it and for some of these kids they're gonna really like it and then it, they're gonna be able to go off and play a little bit because we do have club teams that support the rugby um in college there's great opportunities in college to play rugby um so that's kind of the goal is keep that dif differentiation going um, hopefully we tap into a few students that we weren't able to tap in with the more traditional sports. Have you ever played rugby before? You've heard of it, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I've watched it. I like <laughs> So getting a chance to learn what's that like? You're kind of really experiencing it. It's really fun, you know. I, I'm a football player, so tackling people even more is just more fun.